All right, today I'm going to show you how to install the MSD box if you have this type style. I decided to make this video because, um, yeah, the instructions are they're weird, not real good. But I prefer to run an MSD box this way. Um, some folks like to set separate coils. I like it all compact, easy, plug and play, and you go. But to start out, we're removing the cap. And then you take the rotor button off. Now the MSD box that patch that we're going to be installing in patches, no dials on it. No spots for a chip. So this box is just basically for hot for a hotter spark. I don't know. You know, it comes with the harness. Straight four harness, you know what I'm saying? Um what I don't understand. Oh no, that's that's the coil there. All right, that's the coil. Wire. So we just, they got it. They got the shrink, the shrink wrap up too hot. You know, you got, you got your coil wire. You got your nice thick hot and ground. You got. Grace tuck. Yeah, you, <laughs> you got, ah, right, something ain't right here, man. There ain't no black wire. We got, you know, that's your ignition wire. Then we got a white and gray. Hmm. Never ran into this before. So, on the back of the box, there's always color. It tells you exactly what wires are what. I'm curious to see what the gray wire is. Gray's tucked out. It's on the very bottom. Well, white's normally tack. Okay, gray on this is tack. So if we had a tack meter, you'd hook it up. And white, I know in this process, white is not being used. All right. Because uh, white's another cutoff thing, but there's no adjustment. All right, so you start by taking the cap off, taking your rotor button off. Now inside your distributor, looks a little scary. All this has to come out. Two screws here. Uh, the newer ones, they got the screws there because uh, they got a, it, it's a dampener. You know, every, everything just unplugs. <clears throat> this is like a noise dampener. All right, you know, so it don't come, you know, your alternator don't come through the right radio. So, I'm going to put this to the side. And all that you left inside is a vacuum. And then this is to control the, the spark, the van sparking. Uh, now, this is really, really easy. You know, you got it all gutted out now. This is the wire that hooks up to the MSD box. This is what controls the hotter spark. Now this system comes with all the little tabs and this and that. It even has jump wires. So say like if, if you have the old style where it's a big old plug. So instead of gutting this, you just put, you plug all, all this into the, into the, um, the plug itself. Um, you know, and then it has, sometimes you got to put, if I can pick it up with, with my fat little fingers, sometimes you got to install a resistor. Like if you got a Ford and you install this in the Ford, you got to install a resistor. We're going to need that. But it comes with new tabs. These, you know, these screw down, you bend them over. So this way, the this way the wire sits in there nice and neat. No big deal. 
So these we ain't gonna need. So we'll, we can put, oh, yeah, we ain't, we ain't gonna need none, none of that because this ain't gonna disturb our word, word stone and I, this is just so I can show you. All right, so, first thing you wanna do is slip the rubber grommet on. You gotta do one wire at a time. And what this does, this goes in place where you, your disturber was. But there's plenty of room for you to put, um, um, okay. what's that black stuff I'm trying to cover? The, 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 the wire crap. covering, the, you crap. know, to cover up your wires nice and neat. Boy, it's ain't shrink wrap, but it ain't shrink, shrink wrap. It's, it's that fancy stuff that hide, hide, hide your wires. The plastic casing. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about now? Yeah. They got it big enough so you, so you can put that on there. You know, that goes in place there, so when you when you bolt the distributor down, it will seal it. Now, this is common knowledge. You know, like, oh my gosh, you know, I got green and white. We well, got green and purple here. And how you can tell where they go. Let me hold it up. Can you see how one is bigger than the other? It's the same way with this. One is bigger than the other. So green goes with green. Pop it in. And purple goes with white. You know, you pop that in. You lay it down. Like, like, like I said, it come, comes with new hold-down clamps, but you will want to take take that up, though. That's for safety. Uh, what's next? So that's all it is to while you're up distributor side. Quick, simple, easy. Now, the instructions will confuse you on this one. All right. Still don't got a black wire. Yes, you do. Oh, wait a minute. I'm looking at the wrong thing. There's my black wire. That's the black wire I keep looking for. Alright. Now y'all familiar on how all this works. Alright. When you hold this up, I don't know if Mark can zoom zoom in and see. Can you see it real good? Is dim, but yeah. All right. Now you would think black would go to ground. Not in this application. Black goes to common. It goes to where the C's at. So all you do, plug that in. Orange is your power. You plug that to battery. Okay. Now this is so simple. Then it comes with this extra wire right here. This goes to ground. Because what you're going to want to do, and plus it's nice and thick, they, they keep the contacts apart. You plug that in the ground. This gets grounded to the engine. And voila, you're done. This is how easy it is to wire it up to one of these. I mean, this side... There's no explaining to do. You know. Thick wire, thick black, thick red. Uh, grounding, grounding to the battery. Uh, red wire, skinny wire. That's your ignition wire. This wire here is tack. This wire here is tack. Don't let me, hold on, I know I'm confusing you. If you had a tack and a revelator, okay, to cut it off at certain RPMs, you plug this into tack to here, and this would be connected to the tack in the car. A little confusing, I know. But, we're not using neither one of these. So those are just going to be cut. So now that you got everything hooked up, this is your wire, plugs in here, and runs to the distributor. If you have any questions, you can always email me.
or comment below. Or make a comment, comment below. Um, all this box is for is for hotter spark. There's no adjustment on it, no timing it out. Um, I'm sure there's resistors that can be placed inside, like on a Ford, that, that help cut it off. But that's you got to be, you got to know your wiring. So that part connects to there, and this part connects to here. Remember though, ground is the common one. Ground goes to C. Power goes to B for battery. And then the middle one, the ground, the axle ground, you want to ground it to your, to your engine. So, this is Brother Chad, GCB, Gangster Custom Builds. I, I hope this helped, helped you out. Uh, like and subscribe.